like Welcome, ten minutes Welcome, everyone, to the Butt Stuff Podcast. Butt Stuff hey, Podcast. Hey, hey, Get hey. it trending. This is my intro. I want hey, Butt everyone, Stuff Welcome trending. to the Butt Stuff Podcast. We are. This is not the Butt Stuff Podcast. This is the spiritual the successor to the Otaku Butt Stuff Podcast. Otaku Corner Podcast, and I cannot remember what episode we are on because it's been Nine? a week since. Two weeks, actually, since we recorded our last episode. I Chandler, got you sick as fuck. I think you're on. What? I was sick as fuck. Yeah, unfortunately, Chandler was sick, and we had to postpone last week's episode. So we're doing it today. We're doing it this week. So yeah, and Zach is back with us. I so think this is nine. I don't think we'll have to bullshit our way. No, I think this is more like ten. Well, whatever episode it is. 48. It's that episode. It's now episode it 48. It is episode, episode. Episode 48. Episode, episode. Episode. 48. 48.5. 48.5. This is episode, uh, whatever we're on. 48.5. I like it. Episode whatever. 48.5. Cool. Let's get so, it trending. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, before we get into uh, the main topic this week, which will be the Blue Exorcist series, manga, anime, whichever one... We actually decide to do. I think we're going anime. Uh, I read I it have and an I opening... watched it. Yeah, yeah, I have an opening question for you, Chandler. Hmm. What is the weirdest anime you've ever seen? That's a very sadly diverse list. Weirdest oh, as God in damn it. strange, um, just shit. Like good not weird, really or bad watchable. weird. Mmm, bad weird. Ah, uh, goddamn. Corpse Party's just fucked up in general. Not really weird though. Um, I don't know. I might have to come back to that. I need to think about that one actually. Uh, all right. Uh, I think hmm. for me, one of them, at least one of them, is uh, Watamote. Uh, that oh, that thing's just goddamn. It's strange. I don't know why that's so just... popular. Weird. It has a very strange fan base around it. I just it can't does, understand yeah. how. I also don't understand why the internet insists that Cory in the House is an anime. I don't. I don't Wait, why Cory in the House is not an anime? Cory in the House is not an anime. It's a joke. It's a troll. It's I'm a troll not sure. I don't really. There was an entry in the, the Team Four Stars Tai Chi Abridged Athon, Tiba. Hashtag Tiva, not sponsored, but I just know this. Corn the House was a, like a humorous show. Like <laughs> so, I watched it when I was a kid. It was, there was, it was a, a live action show. Nickelodeon show about a black kid who lived in the present. I thought it was house. Disney. Disney. Why not? Like it's a, it felt Disney. It felt like a it was Disney. Zach and Cody spinoff. Yeah, it was a Raven spinoff actually. Well, Raven spinoff. Yeah. Like, I'm Very like good that, show. that dad was like oh, the yeah. best dad ever. Like if that could <laughs> yeah. be my dad, I would have that dad in a heartbeat. Mm. Anyways. Mm. I can't think. Uh, da, 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 da. Zach, yeah, any weird so, anime in your life? Uh, weird anime. Uh, what's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life? I don't know. You tell us. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, just the weirdest thing, or like, it does it have to be anime related? I mean, like that. I'm not. I'm fucking. What, what's the weirdest goddamn thing you've seen? Both. Give us both. Okay. Okay. So anime. Fully coolie, like hands down. Right. No, that's great. Like, that's okay. great weirdness. Yeah. But it's still weird. Like it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's the greatest you, thing you've ever seen. Like <laughs> I got, I like it, but it's still like the weirdest thing I've ever been thrown into. The greatest thing you've uh, ever seen. The weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Probably a naked man on stilts with no pants in New York Times Square. I'm just not gonna ask because it's New York oh, and there's probably okay, a stupid yeah. art reason behind it that's pretentious and stupid. No, I'm pretty sure he's just being naked. And just a dude on PCP, screen. probably. Probably. I mean, and he was painted as, like, a uh, Statue of Liberty. So. I'm pretty sure the Statue of Liberty didn't have a penis. But she's wearing a dress, so who knows? He was not wearing a dress, I can tell you that. Fair enough. Cool. So, uh, Chandler, are you a fan of the original Ghost in the Shell movies? Not seen a single one. I know there's like five. Okay, well, uh, are you either. interested, are you at least interested in the live action movie that they're coming out with next year? 
Um, uh, sure. I mean, if I figure out what the fuck that shit's about, yeah. It's about, I, right. I no, there's like six titles to every one. I'm so confused. All right, okay, Chandler, let me tell you this. Hmm. You know how you're all about butt stuff, right? Butt stuff, yes. Hashtag butt Scarlett stuff. Johan- Scarlett Johansson? <laughs> Johansson. Johansson. Yes. I apologize. I butchered names left and right. Uh, like, what, what's your opinion on that? On Scarlett Johansson? Or how does that connect mm-hmm. to Ghost in the Shell? On, Scar- on, on Scarlett Johansson. I mean, you know. Great. In, in, terms of nice butt, quote, in terms of butt stuff. In She's terms of nice butt ass. stuff. To quote a Rooster Teeth show, Crunch Time, episode... Two, I believe. What does Charles? What does what does Scarlett Johansson have to worry about? She's got like the fourth greatest toddies in the world. She's got great toddies. It's a great show. Okay, I'm a, I'm a okay. Fan of now, 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 let me tell you this. Okay? <laughs> what does Scarlett Johansson was the main character in Ghost in, in the Shell? I might put more effort into finding out what the fuck it's about. Yeah. Are you telling so me Scarlett Johansson happening. is the main character of Ghost in the Shell? I am not she joking. Is. She is. Oh, well, fuck me sideways. And the, I don't really know how we would do that. No, but okay. I want Scarlett Johansson. That's, so, that's, that's so cool. wait, 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 wait. Do we have to get the Yang put you sideways and no, then get no, the Yang is, in front of you? No, that's a, this is a Scarlett Johansson song. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So big butts. She is. She is. She's a beautiful one. So how how will we do this? Would we get popsicle sticks? Uh, let's not go into the intricates of it. There's, and now I don't want to even imagine this. What? I'm, I'm just talking, like, how do you make, like, the Ghost in the Shell costume? I don't know. Like, it's live action. It's just a costume. It's just, a, like, a jack and How'd they make the Iron Man costume? It's a bunch of dots on a With rubber popsicle suit. popsicle sticks, obviously. Popsicle sticks. It's a bunch of dots on a rubber suit. technologically advanced than popsicle sticks. Obviously, you have never seen a popsicle stick. I mean... Kinda. I mean... You know what's on a popsicle stick? Jokes. You know what's on them? Shitty jokes. Jokes. Popsicles. Fudgesicles. Food. Liquids. And building material. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. I mean, you know, steel. steel, Titanium. Aluminum. Well, I mean, but they don't make sticks out of them. Normal wood. Eh. Yeah, you kind of got me beat there with wood. Yeah. Wood's pretty good. All right. Anyways, getting on okay, to so, yeah, our let's get into Blue the main Exorcist. Topic. Blue Exorcist. Chandler, uh, since you've actually read and seen the manga and anime, why don't you go into what the actual plot and story is behind this? There are a young man and his brother who live in a monastery raised by their adopted father, Father Fujimoto, who is a priest and an exorcist. Uh, the young kid, Ren, he's, uh, he's got some hard shit in his life. He likes to fight. Uh, anger problem. His older brother, or his younger brother, who looks older and is more mature, so everyone thinks it's like, Hey, why is he the younger brother if he's more mature than you, Ren? Ha ha ha. Uh, there's a whole, like, uh, hard-working, younger, older slacker dynamic. Uh, the younger brother goes on a job interview, gets a job, sees a demon, or some little monkey thing, uh, fights it. Turns out he's the son of Satan, who impregnated a human woman, woman and Amazing. Father Fujimoto raised him as his own, knowing that he, one day he would come into his demon powers. Uh, to prevent that as long as possible, the father, the, I just call it their dad, their adopted father, but that's, that's goddamn his father. Uh, his dad yeah. sealed his demonic powers away in a demon sword, which there's a few out here and there. They don't go into that as much in the show, but the books are really better about it. Just super awesome swords that hold unbelievable power. And he is... Yeah, the boob sword is another example. Hot chick pulls it out of her tits. Yeah, there's a boob sword. I'll I'll, I'll get that. I will get there. I will get there. I love her. Jeez, I love her. I will get there. So, um, when he finds out he's the son of Satan, he erupts into blue flames, which is the telltale marker of Satan. Specific blue flames. Um, So, after finding that out, a whole bunch of demons swarm the monastery where they live. Uh, killing and trying to kill a bunch of people, get to the sun, get, bring him to Satan. Uh, this is just a bastardization, I might be leaving some out, but long story short, the father sacrifices himself to save the son from Satan and his wicked ways. And uh, so the son's like, 
fuck you, Satan, you killed my real dad. And basically, says almost everything short of fuck in this show. It's a great show. Animation's pretty great, it's story's great pretty awesome. Show. It's a young demon boy who finds out his father is an exorcist. Demons are real, he's the son of Satan. His younger brother has been training, trained as an exorcist for years and is already powerful in his own right. Though he has no outward sign of demonic powers. It's kind of like one got it, one didn't. So you think. Uh, and it's just a young boy trying to, young man, grow into his powers, uh, use them for good, and trying to kill Satan, who is his father. So, okay, I have a question. If it's I about, a question. Is it about no. the boob sword? Because she's, she's an important character. She's very hot. I would just like to ask, There's, what swords are there? And I want to know the descriptions and explanations of the scenes that they are in. Of the what now? Of all the swords. I want to know the swords, their owners, and what um, they do. He just wants to know the boobs. We can there's, start with that. There's, there's gold that, swords. Um, name. Boob Lady it's has like, a snake-like scimitar somewhat shaped sword. Uh, she has like snake abilities, like everything about her is like, snake power. She was raised by demon snakes. Uh, also an exorcist, super powerful. Cocky, bitchy, great, fair, it's nothing but like a half worn bikini and shorts all the time, drinks, ship talks. She's pretty great. Uh, she keeps her boob, keeps her sword in a tattoo. She keeps her cleavage, pulls it out whenever she wants. There's a giant paladin man who wields a giant cloud strife and sword. Wait, wait, wait. Is that why it's called the boob sword? Yeah. Lives in her boobs. Yep. And it's not shaped like boobs, no. And don't forget that uh, Mephisto is the... Oh, yes. So they go to a special you, high school a trying school, to be exorcists. Oh, yeah. Exorcist And the principal of said school is Mephisto Faust. He's an insane clown-like man who is also a son of Satan, but you don't really... And very badass. Yeah, he's so wait, is a, that... How many sons does Satan have? Uh, Keep it in his hands. Uh, Satan is four. Satan. He will have as many sons as he wants. There's, I believe there's four static... We've only met two so far in the show, which is great. I recommend everyone watch it. It's great. It's animated, beautiful. Bites, fights are awesome. Characters are fun, great. Um, and it's getting a sequel ooh, next shit, year. Awesome. Did not know that. Uh, you know what else yeah. is getting a sequel? Stranger Things. I have not watched that. We'll That's talk nice. about that in a minute. Okay, yeah. Uh, Anyways, yeah, just a good show. Back. Awesome fights. Great build up, lot development, all that. Great. Boobs here and there. It's awesome. And for those who uh, don't like A1 Pictures, it is still a very good show. It, That's it A1? Is. Come on, people. Yeah, A1 Pictures did uh, the anime I believe the author and, and illustrator is Kazuti Kato, if I remember. Kazui yeah, Kato, uh, something yeah, like right, that. Yeah, that's right. Kazui Kato. That's it, yeah. So, so what about the uh, number 24, Empty Sword? That was a oh. interesting Fuck, are you one talking to read. Right? Number twenty four out of all the books or comic pages. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I, I just kind of started reading. I don't exactly keep track of the chapters or volumes. Or I actually confuses me. So I just read. I just keep flipping through. Yeah. Attack on and Titan, what about the Impure now. King? How was that? The day one now. The Impure King. The Impure King. Yeah. You might have gone further like, than I did. Oh. Probably. Well, anyways, let's I got start to them talk about, about the shit out of Satan, right. which is just a fun time for all. There's flying cats, there's demons. It's there's, pretty uh, early on. Gates of hell. It's bubbly and creepy. They kill their own grandfather. It's great. It's a great show. It's not actually spoilers. Uh, not really. No, it just beats the shit out of demons. It's a whole fucking show. The animation so, is super amazing. So yeah, yes. and it's real. Like, it, basically, they just pages from the manga. And filled in the gaps. It's basically shot for shot. Like one of the it's, probably one of the best opening intros or opening yeah, it's songs. Yeah, like, like there's a rocky one and a really like, kind of jazzy one. Yeah, I really, love them both. It's a fun little number. Great job. Favorite character? Uh, Chiami. She controls plants. She's clueless. She's booby. <laughs> okay, so. Now that we've kind of interest, introduced this, I want to talk about it a bit more. I apologize, we're going to be jumping away and getting off track so early. But Stranger Things, it's uh, hit quite a wave in the nerd community. I Would you guys it. I haven't agree? finished it, and it's not anime. Didn't mean to do that. 
It's nerdy. It does it's nerd culture. So, it, well, it hits nerd culture pretty well, and it tells a great story using one of my most favorite and beloved uh, games, Dungeons and Dragons. Really? No. So, okay. that that was a. Uh, I, I don't see the connection there. For then again, I haven't seen it. So you should probably watch it. I've been uh, meaning to for like a really month a spoiler, and a half. I just but every time I saw it on it's, Netflix, I'm like, hey, Red vs. Blue, Chuck. Uh, <laughs> Ruby, uh, The Finder, Psych, Mark, I don't know, much. I don't know, just... So, yeah. Uh, it, it was a surprising motif that Dungeons & Dragons wasn't, like, shown as this evil, as it is based in 1984, kind of during the Satanic Plague era of okay. Dungeons & Dragons. Hell, you and so about? it's And so it's kind of neat to see that, uh, they're playing this and it's not, like, cast down upon and they're just having a good time with it, so... Why? Uh, they, they, they use it D&D as a good was uh, seen as satanic? Point. Yeah. Satanic really? era from 1970s to 1980s. That's not surprising. I did not know that. I would call the 70s satanic, yeah. Fucking like disco. Um, <laughs> no, but, so that, that's something pretty big uh, that I enjoyed about it. Um, it has good cast of characters. Main character's well, like a bald well little girl, right? Uh, it was a yeah. buzz cut. Ah. It was not bald. I have not. I don't. And it's more like. Uh, I hear they do an amazing job with children. The set design, though. The set design. I want to make one thing very clear. And, very clear. Oh my gosh. Goonies is not a good movie. No. Goonies is. When seen, a it, when you terribly great when it movie. came out, great. Does not hold up at all. Like it's just oh god. It was never like, the great. The first time you watch it, like I watched it with my dad. He watched it when he was younger. I don't know when. He it was probably old by that time too. My dad's old. Uh, it was fun, fun, fun children movie. Uh, does not hold up well at all. Just pure nonsense. There's an incense. Mm-hmm. There's like an incest, Cyclops monster, fat kid dancing. I don't. I don't even know anymore. Try to her. Don't know. There's shuffle. an Asian guy. There's white hair, booby twat. Yeah, that's just also incredibly offensive. Um, but it yeah. was, uh, no, no, it was a also piece not a fan of, of ET. history. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, uh, a, ET, it's, a, ET, it's a benchmark. You gotta give, cinema, you gotta give ET. I you don't give ET its dues. I do not. It ha- it has an, a, a pa- impacted the world in ways you cannot imagine. Not only is like it ET, a, the Atari well video s- game. No, well, like that, and as well as saving Reese's pieces from pieces from See, uh, actually. Stopping. See, I, see, I'm not a fan. I'm not a Reese's, Reese's Pieces. pieces. I'm not yeah, a fan Reese's, of Reese's Pieces would have stopped being produced that year, but against uh, due to the popularity of ET, Reese's Pieces actually became the best-selling brand of that e- of the year. It came I out. would have been so fine with that. They beat out M&Ms. I, they are not I my know, thing. You would have. I enjoy Reese's Pieces. I'm a big Reese's connoisseur. No. Nope. Uh, I don't know. Just something it, about it freaked me out as a kid. I don't like it now. Uh, ET Just, is a. Uh, uh, well shot, uh, just, uh, well designed. I, uh, like from a cinematic point, great storytelling, great camera work, great characters, all that. Just I don't know, it does not click with me. Like same reason I fucking hate Titanic. God damn it! The filming of Titanic Titanic's is overrated. great. T- the story, Titanic's the characters, overrated. the yeah. plot, and the reasoning. Titanic, garbage. Yeah, the filming, Awful. like the sh- kill, scene shot. Jack and Rose the, get like six dudes killed. What, by, by fucking in a car. They go looking for the pipes first, they kill like six people who would not have been in that position. Probably would have died anyway, but had some time to, you know, do some shit. They, yeah. It's just, oh my god. And just think she, if she did the just I'm the king of the world. Lean off the door. Like, just yeah. get one leg off, he would have been able to fit on the door. People have done the math. It was possible. And the whole movie, the entire thing, would not have happened. If Rose wasn't a lying bitch, they go searching for that diamond necklace. Yet, submersibles, boats, crew, tech, millions of dollars, looking for one ancient artifact lost in the deep. She's got the whole time. Doesn't tell anyone. They get there, nothing. The end of the book. Whoops! I dropped it in the sea. I couldn't have, you know, waited to give it to the crew to, you know, uh, rationalize and explain all this for me to come out here one more time. I couldn't have given them something from this experience. No, I'll just reminisce amongst myself, get back to the mainland, and probably die. Fuck Rose. Goddamn. Poor. 
I don't even like Kate Winslet or whoever the hell young actor. No. Bad movie. Just awful. It's too nah, long. It's, the it's, they were the iceberg into an hour and a half into the goddamn movie. It's the Titanic. What else is there to tell? If not the goddamn iceberg. I don't care. Well, 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 well. Leonardo DiCaprio. He's so dreamy and so cool. I mean, yeah. Like the Who filming, cares? The filming is what sell, is what saved it. And like, if you cried in that movie, there is something. There are a few things of passion though. Well, there's many. Things. You are Honestly. a sheep. I'm not gonna lie. You're a sheep. How the fuck am I a sheep? I don't if you cried during Titanic, if you cried during oh, Titanic, you're a sheep. No. Like you're gonna cry I, at the breakfast nook. You're gonna cry at Ryan Gosling in any movie, including Deadpool. Well, like if you don't cry at Deadpool, because that's a comedic masterpiece. If you don't cry at Deadpool, okay. that was amazing. See what happened to Fan Four Stick. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Fan Four Stick. What's Fan Four Stick? Well, that's not good. Uh, my recording Fox. audio may have. Mm. Oh, Fantastic bit. Four. Oh, I got it. Yeah, uh, Fantastic Four. Got it. Pure oh, shit. That's disgusting. Uh, I don't know so, why everyone likes Miles getting a bit Teller. back on uh, the anime track. Did you guys know that uh, King's Glaive? Final Fantasy 15 is out for everyone's viewing pleasure. God damn it. You, just, you keep up bringing things I feel strongly about, but I just sound like an asshole. I don't, I don't care for Final Fantasy. I don't. There's too you many. Don't? I'm really? confused. Like Final Fantasy 13, which was actually like the 20, if you count all the side shit, was called the beginning. If you have to take 13 plus installments, to reach the beginning of a story, which I realize is probably not the very beginning of the story, it's the beginning of some new arc or something. That's just bad storytelling. There's well, giant well, chickens, there's you have to make more money. they go through time, there's girls who turn into swans, meteorites, mercenaries, I think. I saw an ad for lightning strikes that had a giant going through time for us. That is <laughs> no Hey, Chandler, God Chandler, you gotta give him some credit. How else are they gonna make money? True enough. In logical, but, conceivable fashion? Like normal no, people? No, 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 no. We all know this is the only reason that company is being kept afloat is by them pu pushing out another Final Fantasy game. But I give respect to it because it's got a good storytelling point. It's got not a storytelling overarching. Like, it doesn't have a good arcs. But it has, like, good, like, bits and, like, the if you only took person. each sections and segmented them as their own episodes... That's great. The only person I'm, who has yet successfully explained a lot of Final Fantasy VII to me is Ego Raptor and Danny Sexbay in their <laughs> uh, Star Bomb song. That's the only person. It still makes no goddamn sense at all. It's mm -hmm. absolute gibberish. But uh, the only people that explain. She turned into so, a swan. Then it's a dream. Why? On a side. On Why a side gaming swan? note, Batman Telltale series episode two came out. And have you guys heard about it, watched it, or played it? I've watched Team Hunters. No, I haven't seen or one. played it yet because I want to buy the entire thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Kind of it's... I don't think I've seen it. I should. I, I bought the episode either. one, but I really wish they had like released them all at once because right now I'm like really dissatisfied. I I want more. Gotta be honest. Uh, hashtag spoilers. Hashtag. Uh, finding out Thomas and Martha Wayne were actually in connection. Kind of pissed me off. Because that, that is, is absolutely not, not at the all lore. Ever a thing. That is never a thing. What, just, Alfred's lying about it, but he insists he's not lying about it. It's, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, Army if they did that, Alfred, yeah. Alfred should have. Alfred should have at least not known about the interactions. Like, if they decided to run it that way, that's something that kind of peeved me off. Uh, in a lore sense, but uh, I kind of respect it. As well as everyone's like, oh, I gotta be good to Harvey Dent. Like, in my playthrough, I like to see I'm like politically to helping him, but as a friend, like, I'm going by what Batman said in his monologue. He said, I need to make sure I 
I steer them from the wrong path, and that's all I'm doing. I'm being more of a mentor than a friend, so, like, when he asks for the money on the episode two, and I buy that, I'm going to be like, no, but you're going to be, I'm going to stand by your side no matter what, because you're going to get corrupt and two-faced. I mean, and I'm pretty sure I, that's happening anyway, but at this point, who knows? But, Thomas well, Wayne being evil? Ooh, yeah, well, see, I'm just saying, if there's one thing I'm sure in life, it's Vicky Bale and Selena. Like, that's two, that's two sure things. Like, don't worry about Two-Face, don't worry about Penguin, w worry about the girls, worry about the money, and you're good. I want to watch Chuck again. It's a good show. It's a great... All nerds need to watch Chuck. At least through season four. My mom four. just started that, it's, now I have to watch so, it. Plot's great, character's great, just something that I love that stands out to me in shows that I out. Great music. Just odd, obscure bands that just work perfectly for the content of the scene and the plot. Just, I will definitely have to watch it now. So Another show that I actually sh just started watching, well, uh, a couple weeks ago is yeah, uh, Inuyasha. I just started that. I'm already on episode 50. That is I need to finish one, the if not the classes. best. I've seen the very yeah, last scene, and okay. I want to know how it's out. That's the journey I want to do. That is a good show. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, what are Chandler? What are the recommendations for this week? I'd say a. Everyone on the face of the planet needs to watch ReZero, starting life with nothing in a new world. Or why is my volume so low? Why is his volume so low? Yes, everyone. The question of the week why is, is my volume so low. That is the uh, show of the week. No, it's ReZero, starting life from a new world with nothing. Or, Chandler? Yeah. Josh? Hello? Chandler? Did anyone else hear that? Chandler. Did you die, Chandler? Chandler's dead. Josh, so... Ch so what Zach, are the what's up with your... What's up with Hello? your... Uh, the background noise, Hello? Zach? What background noise? Your background uh, noise. Am I okay? Can you hear me now? What's, what's going yeah. on here? Zach? I'm just getting, like... Someone acknowledge me! Hello, Chandler. Yay, how about good. how about now? It's, I think you got a ceiling yeah. going on, probably. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my AC. I turned it back on. I have some stuff of dead silence in my uh, Audacity stuff. So like, you you'll just yeah. copy it over, or do you want me to? Nah, no, I'll just I'll take care of it. I'm like I can edit it. I know this is audible, me. but so popping in a picture of Tracer is possible to cover up up there. But uh, throw in a gold, throw in a good old. Uh, Cheers, love. Cover is here. Or not. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway. 3 zero, Okay, okay. 3 zero, starting so, life with nothing. 3 zero. Three zero. we can all watch this DVD, that, this anime movie, my cousin said. I found out. Yeah. Okay. I say we do that. We do it together, and we watch it, like, and we record it live. And then we... No. Just, no. No? I, not, I, I know not nothing record of live. the plot we'll just, we'll just watch it. Right, well, together, I mean, I, I, I guess Skype, I guess. Okay. Okay. And with that, we leave you with this, albeit short, but enjoyable experience with your, the three most idiotic people on I'm the face of the watch earth. Watch ReZero, it'll break your brain and your heart, and maybe your butt a little bit, depending if you're feeling a little sick. Amelia is life. Fuck Amelia. God damn it. Rem is better. In every <laughs> conceivable I have, way. I have... Every I haven't seen it yet. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just every going way, with that. I'm just stuff. playing with that. God damn it. I know she's the that main cute, female. That cuteness, that hair. She's like, just, God damn it. she is. Oh. Yeah, she's got a magical flying tiny little cat spirit. Cute, whatever. Rem is better in every. No, no, I'm just saying Rem's hair. The blue little like, bowl cut. Love it. Like shows yeah. One eye. yeah. Demon for life. I want him, that human. Fuck that dude. And with that, we are going to leave you guys with this podcast episode, whatever. We don't know what the episode is, but... Yeah. And we leave you with this thought-provoking cast question. Hashtag Would you fuck butt stuff? Me? Question mark? Don't forget to find us on iTunes, podcast.com, Stitcher, and now... 
Google Play Music. And also Pot, uh, Potomatic if you guys listen to us on there. And we so, don't have merchandise, but maybe make me some. And then send it to me for free, and I'll say your name or something. I just want cool shit. And if you guys do listen to this episode, listen all the way to the end. Let us know what we should do about a Patreon. Should we start one? Should we not? Let us know in the comments. Let us give us a review. Let us know what you guys think. Or follow us on Twitter at Real Nerd Word. Hopefully, we'll see you guys there. Uh, so Ram it. until uh, next time, I'm Josh. Josh. Ram is better. Uh, what? Just remember that uh, audience. So just- until next time, I'm Josh. That's Zach and Chandler, and we will see you guys next week. Later. Rap is better.